breaking news INEC staff demand immediate removal of uh, chairman uh, Mahmoud Yakubu right to know can you imagine there was something happening in that INEC we know that INEC is uh, is something else and uh, the INEC chairman is also something else the way the 2023 general election was conducted has proven that the INEC system as an entity is corrupt and compromised because the INEC chairman and the leadership of INEC are also corrupt and compromised. So it's never a system to be relied on anymore. It's never a reliable system at all. So let's dive into the detail and understand who is calling for removal of uh, this INEC chairman and what is the reason. Senior staff members of the Independent National Electoral Commission uh, INEC have demanded the sacking of Professor Mahmoud Yakubu as the chairman of the commission. They accused the chairman of neglecting the welfare of staff and prioritizing his own welfare through awards, awards of contracts that allegedly benefit him. Oh boy. They accused the chairman of neglecting, uh, okay, the award of contracts that benefits him. So in a letter addressed to President Bola Tinubu by Consent staff of the Independent National Electoral Commission nationwide, they advised the president to immediately sack him as national chairman of INEC. The letter which was sent to the Whistler by senior personnel of INEC who claimed to have attended some of the meetings where the staff debated the issues called the attention of President Tinubu to 10 issues they are aggrieved about. They described Professor Mahmoud Yakubu as a tyrant who sees staff as slaves with no right to complain and stressed that the system had become rotten due to the leadership style of Professor Mahmoud Yakubu. The INEC chairman is also accused of refusing to implement the Review Duty uh, Tour Allowance, DTA, and the 40% Peculiar Allowance to staff approved by former President Mahmoud Ubari since September 2022. The staff said they would also not benefit from the federal government approved 35% for all federal workers to cushion the effect of first subsidy removal because he will say there is no money. They claim that the INEC chairman's promise to increase electoral hazard allowance at a meeting with staff in November 2022 was not fulfilled. Part of the letters, uh, letter reads, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu has also turned the commission into a one-man show. No commissioner can approach him. He takes critical decisions alone without the input from other commissioners, thereby seeing himself as God. Professor Yakubu Mahmoud does not allow staff to air their grievances as there is no medium or mechanism to address them. There is serious financial misappropriation by Professor Mahmoud Yakubu as he concentrates mainly on contracts that will benefit him. Relevant authorities such as EFCC and ICPC can be invited to check INEC financial record for confirmation. The staff stated they could no longer wait for the end of his second tenure in November 2025. And uh, as many of their colleagues had died due to neglect of staff welfare matters. Can you imagine? In conclusion, the staff stated, we, the entire staff of INEC, are disappointed over the leadership style of Professor Ma Yakubu Mahmoud, and we hereby pass a vote of no confidence on him. We want him to go now, since uh, staff welfare matters is critical to any credible election. We are tired of Professor Mahmoud Yakubu's abuse of office. We humbly request presidential intervention in this matter so that the situation will not go out of hand as the INEC staff may not want to go on mass protest over neglect of staff welfare matters occasioned by the abuse of office uh, uh, leader by Professor Yakubu Mahmoud, Honorable Chairman INEC. Explaining why the staff choose to write a letter to the president on the issue, a deputy director in the commission said INEC has no labor union as it is not allowed. Those who tried to start one two years ago were transferred out of INEC headquarters to different states by the chairman, he said in a chat with the Whistler. So when the Whistler called Rotimi Oyekomi, chief press secretary to the INEC chairman on Tuesday, he said he was at a meeting. But while responding to a text message on the letter, 
He said, I heard about it, but I have not seen it. Can you imagine? So the question here is about the tyranny style or tyrannical style of Professor Mahmoud Yakubu in managing uh, uh, the INEC. It's a very bad situation and the people are complaining. The people are complaining and they want him to go. I'm sure if both the commissioners, everybody wants him to go. They can't wait to see his second tenor to conduct the next election or to leave in 2025, which is now about uh, two years' time. Okay. And the thing is getting just too much. And when you see his face, you know that it's, this guy is a tyrant. And that is why it's because it's tyranny that he used to rig this election for Tinubu. And Tinubu, the presidency they are writing, is Tinubu now. They won't do anything because Tinubu is using this guy very well to his own advantage and it's where he's paying this guy very well to his own advantage. If he sacks this guy now, what about all the money that he has paid this guy and who will be the person coming in and how will that person support his mission? So it's a very critical situation at our next staff that are facing here. Mahmoud Yakubu is compromised. And with compromise at next staff, election will be compromised. They can easily be bought, they can easily be influenced because they are suffering. That is how bad it is. So it means that the entire system of INEC is no longer credible, it's no longer reliable because of the leadership style and the leadership character. Very, very unfortunate uh, situation, I must say it. And people are making some comments here. Somebody said, how can you report corruption to the God, uh, Godfather of corruption? Uh, as for Mahmoud Yakubu, your downfall is imminent. That is it. Just like I said, Tinubu cannot do anything about this because he knows what he's doing with uh, Mahmoud uh, Yakubu. That is it. Um, so see, this should have been done long before now. It seems we are running from rain after being drenched. Abi, it's not possible now. Okay. Um, so, so it's a good move. If they can achieve it, that's a big story. If they can achieve it, Tinubu removing his clan chief, Lai Lai, he can't do that. Exactly. He can't remove him. Uh, he can't remove him. He's his, his key person. And somebody says staff should sue him.